Alright guys, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a new uh, Crunchy Chip Cookie team with Oyster Cookie added. And this is going to be divided into different sections as well. In the beginning, I'm actually going to be explaining to you the difference between the Syrian Raspberry Topping Set as well as the Juicy Apple Jelly Topping Set, which is going to be the full crit. And I will be sharing with you guys the math and the calculation that I've done to kind of support the reasoning why I use certain toppings. All right. And so if you guys do want to skip over that or you guys are not interested in the actual math and just want to see the number and the actual gameplay, then I will put a timestamp for that. So if you guys do want to skip over to that part, then you guys could do that right now. But if you guys are interested in actually listening to the reasoning behind why I am going to be using the Syrian Raspberry set for Crunchy Chip is going to be this. So if you guys look at the screen right now, this is a calculation that I did on my own using the stats of my Crunchy Chip cookie, which is going to be level 70 and 5 star promotion with a pretty decent, I say above average on the tech tree for the actual charged cookie but if you guys look closely right now the top one is going to be for full Syrian raspberry build as well as the bottom one is going to be for the full crit build but let's look at the uh Syrian raspberry build first so crunchy chip cookie at level 70 and 70 skill is going to be doing 162.8 percent of his attack plus 185 percent of the crit percentage as his damage when he uses his skill all right so if you guys look closely uh it's my crunchy chip cookie with the full searing raspberry build that you guys saw earlier he is going to be actually having 53,790 attack which equals to 87,570.12 damage just from the attack percentage if you guys do the addition of the crit percentage which is 185 percent of the crit percent which is going to be 27.5 percent and then also with the oyster cookie 16.5 percent is going to equal a total of 44 percent and that is going to equal 81.4 extra damage uh, it does not seem very big here but you guys got to realize uh, that this is going to be without any crit. So total damage without any crit, all right? So without the crit actually proccing, it's going to be 87,651.52. But with the crit, which is going to be 150% of whatever that is, without any extra bonus, that is going to be 131,477.28. But now with the 13% crit damage boost and with no tech or landmark, it's actually going to be 142,871.13. And with all of the bonuses, equaling the 20% from the lavatory as well as 20% from the altar of the fallen and additional to the 13% crit damage boost from oyster cookie the total damage with crit is going to be 177,932.586 all right but however you got to realize that the crit percentage for a full serum raspberry set that i have currently on is less than 50% at 44% total with the actual crit percentage boost i know that was a lot but now let's look at the crit percentage build and for that build the attack is going to be at 37,972 so it is doing about i would say 50,000 less damage however we do have to realize that the crit percentage the crit chance of you actually landing a crit is going to be 86.5 percent which is way above 50 percent however now this is where the decision making comes into play if you are able to actually utilize the crit percentage every single time as well as you know have the damage resist there for you to kind of take advantage of him actually tanking for the team a little bit longer then yes crit is going to work out pretty darn well however for those players who do not have a max out tech or you know a max out uh landmark or just doesn't have a great juicy apple jelly topping set you can literally go with the full serum raspberry and just take advantage of whatever the crit percentage oyster cookie is giving you with the extra damage so i am gonna say this is going to work great for a lot okay majority of the players and juicy apple jelly topping set for this particular build works and will work great if you guys are able to maximize the crit percentage as well as some of the uh, you know damage resistance and stuff like that. However, there's another catch. If you guys look at Crunchy Chip Cookie's skill, all right, you're gonna be able to see that the wolf, after it goes into enraged mode, does not actually get 
incapacitated, which means no stun, no freeze, nothing like that, which means that the wolf is able to take advantage of everything, including the actual, you know, Syrian Raspberry attack boost uh, from Crunchy Chip and all the additional buff that the pincushion and everything is giving. So there is that as well. So that is the reason why we are going to go with a full Syrian Raspberry set. So if you guys look right here, Full Syrian Raspberry focusing on attack and crit. Damage resist doesn't really matter because the point is making the wolf a raid boss, all right? So you're going to be able to see a lot of extra damage using this build. And then Sorbet is actually going to be using Full Swift Chocolate in order to kill off the tank, preventing the wolves from doing damage. So you, Sorbet with the Full Swift Chocolate set is actually able to cast about three times before the one minute mark, which is almost plenty enough to actually get rid of the feather and even one tank additional to that. And then Pumpkin Pie is going to be using five of the Solid Almond. No cooldown really is required, but the faster cooldown, the better advantage that you have and then next one is going to be our oyster cookie i actually went with three solid almond two sweet chocolate focusing on damage resist as well as having the at least 11.2 percent cooldown additional cooldown will definitely help because you know extra cooldown will equal extra damage for the soldiers and the next one is going to be cotton with five of the swift chocolate as well focusing on damage resist as well as extra cooldown i know that was a lot guys but let's go into the battle now and let me compare the Syrian raspberry as well as the crit and then last one i'm actually going to be using this exact same team in the actual arena to show you guys some actual arena gameplay all right guys so right now i have the full Syrian raspberry build and we are going to be going up against this team all level 70 all level full treasure so here we go guys we're going to be using the same team and we'll compare the damage from crit as well as seeing raspberry all right here we go and we are able to see that you know crunchy is going to be uh in cage because of the clotted cream and pretty much i would say clotted cream uh and you know any other team that uses a particular like sorbet and things like that uh, you know, Crunch Chip using this particular build is not gonna last very long. Maybe one time or two time maximum for the skill, and then Wolf is gonna do everything. So here you go, guys. We are able to see that Crunch Chip is just kind of doing the most damage here. So now that's going to be the Syrian Raspberry build. Now let's go into the Crypt build and see how well we do. All right, guys. So same team. Let's go. So the thing that you're gonna be re uh, able to realize here is that Crunchy Chip is actually going to last a lot longer because of the extra damage resist that this build has. Alright, so, you know, of course you can go with a no damage resist build and just allow your wolf to come out as quickly as possible. But I just feel like, you know, if that is going to be the case, just take advantage of the chomp a little bit longer. Uh, because your wolf stat is not as big as how the Syrian Raspberry is, right? So here you guys go. The damage is relatively the same. I'll have to say it just really depends on the RNG factor of the crit. So you can see that it all works out pretty well for both sides. Alright guys, so here we go. We're going to use the full Syrian Raspberry build inside of the actual arena now with the Sorbet and see how well we do against this double tank comp right here. Alright guys, so something that I do like to do later on is in case, you know, you guys are versing someone like a Sea Fairy or Frost Queen or even a single tank comp, I do actually like to bring Parfait instead of a Sorbet because, you know, that allows my cookies to actually have that debuff resist. And of course, I know that there's a build where you can use pure vanilla as well, which is actually going to help out in replenishing the shield for the soldiers as well as kind of allowing uh, your cookies to take... Uh, some less damage using the uh, HP shield, but that is going to have to come in another video. But here you guys go, look at the damage from Crunchy Chip. That was actually relatively pretty easy just because we were able to chew away at the frontline tank and then just chomp, 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 they were all gone, right? All right, guys, so this is an example of why I will be bringing a Parfait here. So they do have a double healer, so I'm going to bring Parfait. Parfait is using a full Swift Chocolate set just like normal, and then let me show you guys how well we do against this team. And here we go. So they are using a non-tank uh, build, which is going to be using a front, uh, front line as Clotted Cream and then Eclair. So our Crunchy Chip is just going to die out right away because of the fact that, you know, the cage is going to prevent him from doing anything. But the wolf right there just going at it, just chomp, 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 all right? So here we go, guys. Let's see the damage output here. And boom, 2 million, close to 3 million damage from Crunchy Chip alone. Even if he is not able to use his skill or even just to use it one time, his wolf is just going to just stay there and chomp away until he disappears. All right, so there you guys go. Uh, very, very good damage from Crunchy Chip. 
All right, guys, here's another one. We do see a four tank comp. I'm going to be using the Sorbet team here to just deal with the tanks. Let's see how well we do. So if you guys do not have Sorbet or you feel like your Sorbet is not good enough, you can actually use Parfait against this particular team as well just because of the fact that Parfait is going to heal your team. And then the amount of damage that your team is going to take from the enemy is actually going to be, uh, you know, canceled out with all the healing. But here, still, we're just going to just chomp away at the enemies, the wolf, the soldiers, pom pom. It doesn't matter if our cookies are dead, the summon units are still alive. And boom, even if Crunchy dies, the wolf is going to keep doing the damage. And we can see that because of the fact that Oyster Cookie has a lot of damage resist now, uh, she's not going to be the first one to die, but she's going to survive and constantly give that crit boost as well as a crit damage boost. All right, guys, another team here is going to be the Wildberry, uh, Caramel Arrow, and a Clotted Cream this time. Uh, we are still going to be using the Sorbet build and see how well we do. And here we go. So they are using an Eclair and a Cotton, so they're not using a double healer in this particular team. But we are going to take some damage from Wildberry and Caramel Arrow right there. But because of all the summon units, uh, the Caramel Arrow damage is not going to be like massive, massive. Uh, just because, you know, there are just so many units in the front. And you can see that we just kind of ran over them. And once again, Crunchy Chip is going to be doing a lot more damage than the others. But I, I kind of want to show you guys the real raid boss that Crunchy Chip can become. Let me try to find a battle like that and let's see how well we do on that particular battle. Alright guys, so here we go. This is going to be a team right here with the double tank here. And then uh, probably going to be a double healer here. So let's see how well we do against this team in particular. And see if we can really bring out the raid boss mode from our Crunchy Chip cookie. All right, guys, so here we go. So even if, you know, they do have a double tank, but if they're not bringing a, you know, extra DPS, like, you know, a Sorbet here in particular, or a Z Fairy or Frost Queen, then you can actually bring the double healer uh, to allow your cookies to survive, you know, out heal the damage, and then you'll allow Crunchy Chip and the summon units later on to actually deal all the damage that they need uh, from the one minute boost and all that stuff, right? So you can see right here, even if, uh, you know, they have the double tank, we're able to shoot through the, the enemies because we're just able to have the mound power uh, through all the summon units. And right here, guys, 4 million damage. I know that it can actually go a lot higher if you guys do verse a team that is going to last a bit longer. But I feel like this is going to be a good representation of what you guys are going to be able to see if you guys are able to utilize a team like this inside of the arena. But there you guys go, two teams right here. Of course, uh, let me just show you guys the topping for our um, Parfait. Parfait is going to once again be using 5 Swift Chocolate. I say having better cooldown here is going to definitely help out. But, you know, you guys saw how it turned out with even a, you know, 15% at no extra substats. So those two teams are pretty much what I've been using right now to climb all the way from the whatever the reset was, which was Crystal 2 for me, all the way to now Master 3. Uh, so definitely it has been working out. It's definitely great. And I do want to recommend that you guys can use this team if you guys are wanting to use both Crunchy Chip and Oyster Cookie on the same team. A bit longer video today, but I hope you guys found the video helpful and kind of saw the explanation behind why I'm using Searing Raspberry rather than Crit in some of the cases. Because, you know, just the fact that Wolf is able to do so much damage is enough for me to use my Crunchy Chip with full Searing Raspberry. But there you guys go. I hope you guys found it helpful. Let me know how, what kind of Oyster Cookie team you guys are using. I will be trying out the Twizzly Crit crit comp uh, with oyster and later on but i just gotta kind of figure out what i want to do with all the other cookies so watch out for that video as well but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys all on the next one